What's up everybody, this is Supreme King back again with another video. I gotta apologize for having this out at the end of the week instead of the beginning of the week, but I gotta tell you, I've been playing this game, it's been fun. God of War Ragnarok, possible game of the year, one of the best ones to come out this year. Awesome, awesome game. I'm not gonna dive too much into my impressions as far as like so far everything that I've played, but I do wanna just talk about mainly everything leading up to this bear fight that I had. <laughs> the bear fight was hot. It definitely whipped me into shape because I was really not secure with the controls. It had been a minute since I had played God of War 2018, so the controls was a little rusty, and I was really feeling it because of that. They was really tagging me left and right, and I was having a hard time using my block with the shield for the longest. In my head, is like, yo, hit L1 but I just couldn't do it so I always was relying on dodging but I still got the job done as far as the bear fight. I'm gonna show some footage here about me, you know, basically getting my butt kicked until I actually got it. But the game was so fun, man. It's so much fun. It's got a nice balance to it. The combat is good. It's definitely very similar to 2018 with a few tweaks here and there. They're picking up right where they left off only like a, maybe a couple years later, but everything should be fresh for you if you're coming straight off of that game. This is definitely a must buy. I want to talk about Freya for a second because this woman wants smoke. She is not playing no games. She is on site and it's crazy. She is not trying to hear it she wants kratos on sight and i'm feeling it that little sequence in the beginning when she's chasing them and she's turning back and forth between her body form and her like bird form it was crazy it was cool and um i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed that the whole like tone that they were setting between her and kratos and and atreus and she's really not playing you know we already knew what happened but she she's not hearing it no way it's like yo that was her son and she wants blood she wants blood and so that was pretty cool just to go through that sequence and then going from that to the bear fight the bear fight was just crazy in itself it felt like a souls game type bear fight for a second because i was really just getting hammered i was getting hammered all over the place i was not keeping up at first but then i finally started to catch on to the controls and the patterns and was able to die better and you know push it back push back towards the bear and i'm just going to show maybe a little bit of footage here i'm not going to show the ending of that because i don't want to show any spoilers and i don't want to show you know any like anything after that because we already know about the other fight afterwards if you've been playing if not i don't want to spoil it but the one thing that i like that the game addressed is that there are a variety of enemies and it's not very repetitive where it was a little bit more repetitive in 2018 and you you guys already know what i'm talking about but now it's like yo there's a variety of enemies here there's boss fights all over the place and i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i did get a little bit further when you get into the open world aspect of it where you're just kind of exploring a little bit you're going into the you know roll 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 your boat kind of sequence with the stories and everything i'm pretty sure you guys are used to that that same stuff is still here it's just a continuation of that game and everything starts to feel familiar once you start to get used to the controls again and you back to doing your same old missions you're collecting the different health items from the chests that has like the three symbols on them and you got to find the ornaments or you got to be like really really quick with it one thing i want to say about the game is that the tone seems more intense and the story seems more important this time around. It just feels like Odin and Thor, for example, they come off like gangsters here. And I appreciate that. It seems like they were mobsters. Like they were coming to you and talking to you real quick before it went down. Like I'm, I'm loving that. You know, light spoilers. I don't want to spoil too much, but definitely get this game. Even if it's at $70 and you don't want to pay $70. This is the one game you should pay the $70 for. Like this is really one of the best games that they have out there for PlayStation. It might win game of the year against Elden Ring. I've talked about it a bunch of times, but even if it doesn't, I mean, it's still one of the hottest games. It's definitely worth it. Uh, my first impressions are great. I'm blown away. I'm really enjoying the game. I'm gonna take my time with it for the remainder of the year and really try to 100% it if I can. And uh, yeah, I want you guys to 
do the same thing. It's still a great, great experience. I want everybody to experience this. That was an awesome boss fight, the bear fight. I don't think I'm going to show too much more past it. The bear fight itself was, was to really get you back in gear. Say, hey, this game's not messing around and you need to know what you're doing. <laughs> There's two, three extra fights after that. You know, the boss fights, those fights was fire too. I'm very happy that they made Thor the way that they made him. He's like very, very much original to the actual character of Thor in the mythology. And I'm feeling it. It's cool. They did him correctly. The hammer is correct. Anyways, that's all I got for you here. Uh, leave a like on this video. Definitely get that game for the holiday season. Maybe you might find it, you know, $5 off somewhere for Black Friday. Maybe if you get your hopes up i'm pretty sure you're not though <laughs> but definitely get it man just just spend the money on that don't even worry about it spend your christmas money on it don't worry about it that is worth it it's worth it it's fun it's exciting i had so much fun with it i'm going to continue to have so much fun with it and that's it for this video i done rambled enough as it is uh, leave a like comment share and subscribe i will catch you on the next video peace